Why do my legs hurt? This is a five minute video to explain a common cause of leg discomfort. The aim is to help you understand venous disease, what is happening and how to access help. Oh. Experiencing aches and pains in your legs is common and this can be for a wide variety of reasons. Think of 100 people walking around right now. Around 40 of them will have some degree of problem with their leg veins. Venous disease causes a wide variety of symptoms that affect people differently. It could involve both legs, or it may just be one. Does this sound familiar? Aching, painful and tired legs? Heavy or tight legs, particularly at the end of the day. Your legs might feel restless at night. The skin on your lower leg may be itchy, dry and feel sore. You may be able to see some veins. Varicose veins look prominent, close to the skin and tend to be twisty and bulgy. You might be able to feel sore lumps in your veins or the skin could feel hot to touch. This is often called phlebitis. This can come and go and can be very painful. You may have noticed the skin on your leg is changing. It might have become darker, more brown or red in colour. It could look thick and shiny or become hard to touch. Your leg may become swollen as the day goes on. Your shoe might start to feel uncomfortable or your socks leave an indent. One leg may look bigger than the other. Your veins may bleed easily if not and take a long time to stop bleeding. You may even have a wound on your leg that is taking a long time to heal or getting worse instead of better. This is known as an ulcer. Now we know what venous disease looks and feels like, let's understand what's happening. Healthy leg veins are smaller and fairly straight. They contain valves that open and close as you walk to assist the return of blood back to the heart. For some people over time, the leg veins grow larger and the valves inside their veins become faulty or damaged. When this happens, blood doesn't return to the heart as effectively as it used to. It starts to pool inside different veins close to the skin and increases the pressure in that leg. These changes are called varicose veins. The high pressure in the legs creates inflammation leading to the signs and symptoms we have described. This tends to worsen over time as the problems continue. We now know a bit more about the problem and what has caused it. So, what can be done? The changes in your veins and skin can't be reversed, but treatment can be provided to close or remove the problematic veins and help you feel much better. As this is so common, you may know someone who has had a trip to the hospital. In the past, most people went to sleep and had an operation to remove the veins. The recovery period took a couple of weeks and for lots of people, the veins came back. Things have changed a lot. Modern treatments are performed through tiny punctures, a few millimetres across. They take less time to complete and there's usually no need to put you to sleep. You are able to walk in and walk out. You should expect a rapid recovery and much less discomfort. Your treatment is more likely to work and the results last longer. You will be home the same day and back to normal activities within a few days. The problems you were experiencing will reduce and your leg will feel much better. This isn't a big operation, just a quick, low-risk procedure. Now we know treatments are available, how should you access them? Can you have your veins treated by the NHS? The National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, NICE, released guidance that all patients suffering with symptoms suspected to be caused by their veins should be seen by a specialist vascular team. The NHS vascular team will check to see if your veins are causing your issues and will then discuss your options for treatment. The NHS constitution says you have a right to access all NICE recommended treatments. Different areas of the UK have different criteria on when you can access treatment, but you need to see the vascular team so they can properly diagnose the problem. The first place you should visit is your GP. Explain the symptoms you are experiencing and the impact on your life. Show your GP your leg and ask for a referral to your vascular team. Your GP is there to help. Remember, varicose veins and venous disease impact a large proportion of the population. Modern treatments are quick, safe, effective 
have minimal downtime and are available through the NHS. The aim is to make your leg feel better and help you to focus on what's important. Here are some further resources that can provide you with more information on how to care for your legs. If you would like to read the guidance from NICE, you can find it on their website. Just search for Varica's Veins.